Hey boys and girls, it's Miss Lisa. Welcome back to my table of art. Last time we were together, we were talking about portraits, self-portraits. And we learned about the proportions, where to put our eyes, our nose, and our mouth. When I left off with you, I told you, color in your portrait, whatever you want. If you want to use markers, crayons, paint, however you want to do it. I used crayons on mine just to color it in so I could use it as a sample. Remember how we did our portions. We divided our face, we divided it in half, divided that section in half, and the last section in half. And I told you we're going to need this for the second part of our assignment, or our lesson, let's call it. So we learned about proportions of our face, and now we're going to do a different kind of a portrait. There's traditional portraits, sort of like our school pictures, and then there's other kinds of portraits. Today I want to talk to you about an artist named Kahindi Wiley. Kahindi Wiley is a contemporary or contemporary artist. Contemporary meaning art of today. Artists of today are influenced by what's going on in the world, cultural diversity, everything. They're contemporary artists. And he has a different spin on his portraits that he does. He paints portraits of mostly celebrities. I'm going to show you one now. I think you might recognize him. This is the first portrait. Who's that guy? Do you recognize him? Well, if you don't, that's Barack Obama. He was one of the presidents of the United States. This is a very informal portrait. He's very relaxed. No tie. Not standing. Very relaxed. Actually, he's welcoming you. His body position is towards us. He's saying, I'm here for you. His eyes are looking right at us. This is a portrait of Barack Obama. Notice the background. Can you tell where he has where this painting was done? Well, you might guess a garden. I would say a garden too. But that's about all we would know. For all we know, it could be at the White House garden, or it could be downtown Chicago. Who knows? We can't tell because all we see is beautiful foliage. Kahindi Wiley always makes the portraits personally relevant to the subject. For instance, this is Barack Obama. Notice in the background, there's some flowers. Can you see them? Well, each one of these flowers represents a place where Barack Obama has lived. One of them is the actual flower of Hawaii, Indonesia, Kenya, even Chicago. So that makes it personally relevant to Barack Obama. That's just one of his portraits. And I kind of like that we don't know where this portrait was painted. Do you notice anything else about this portrait? Let's look closer. Look how the background overlaps Barack Obama, the subject. Kahindi Wiley kind of brings the background to the foreground. It gives a sense of loss of where everything's taken place. It accentuates that. Look at this. All different areas, it's overlapping. So guess what we're going to do today? I want to show you one more thing before we go on. I want you to see how big this portrait is. This is Kahindi Wiley. He's the contemporary artist that painted this portrait. And there's Barack Obama. Look how huge this painting is. It's pretty cool, right? So, what we're going to do today is we are going to make our own Kahindi Wiley inspired portraits. That means we're going to look at his portraits and get an idea and be inspired to create our own style. So, we're going to start with our backgrounds today. You're going to create a background and make a pattern. So you want to pick something that is kindly, personally relevant to you. Like with Barack Obama, Kahindi Wiley did a bunch of beautiful greenery, but he incorporated the flowers where Barack Obama was from. So let's think, what does that mean to us? Well, what do I like to do? Well, I like to draw and paint and anything related to art. 
So if I incorporated different images of art related symbols, that would be personally relevant to me. So how about I bring it down here and show you what I kind of mean. I'm coming down to my desk now. And here's my paper. So if I had to think what is personally relevant to me, maybe a paint palette. So that kind of has like a kidney bean shape with a little hole where my finger would go. Then I would add some paint blotches on my, my paint palette. This is that thing you hold in your hand when you're painting and you put all your paint colors on the board. So I would kind of like repeat this throughout my paper, creating a pattern. Because what is a pattern? A pattern is something that repeats over and over. So I'm going to repeat my paint palette over and over. Add my little colors of swatches of lots of paint because we're repeating it over and over. I'm going very fast just so I can give you an idea. So I'm filling my paper with my personally relevant images of paint palettes. So it's really nice, but it still needs a little bit more. So maybe I'll add paint brushes. That might be a nice idea if I add some paint brushes. And you can do whatever you want, whatever it is that you enjoy doing. Maybe you enjoy sports. Maybe you'll put whatever the sport related image is. But it's a fun process. It's not something we're going to stress over. There's no right or wrong. It's based on what you like. This is given the illusion that it goes right off the paper. It continues on. So, how's that look? Not too bad, right? So this is what makes it personally relevant to me. So then I would come back and I would color this all in. So let me grab my markers because I like working with markers. I can use them the fastest. They glide on really fast. So hang on. Let me get my markers over here. Bring them up to here. I got a cup full of markers over here. And I'm going to use them. So I'm going to start coloring in my palette. I'll use this. I'll use the background as something light, a light color. I'm going to color them all in. But for the demonstration, I'm only going to color in one. And this is pretty much what you're going to do. You're going to take your time. You're going to make your background. You're going to add your color. You're going to make it your own. You know, I'm just adding some color. Maybe I'll put pink on the end of this brush. Maybe this brush. You know, I add green to this brush. Okay. And I'm going to continue all the way through. Just so I can get this all colored in. Add some blue on this brush. But remember, this is personally relevant to me. It doesn't have to be your choice. You can choose whatever you want. So once I color all this in, I want to add more color to my background. I don't want to leave all this background white. So, hang on. I'm going to finish coloring this, and I'll be back in a minute so I can show you the second stage. So I'll be right back. In the meantime, you start with your portrait background. Decide what images you're like, you would like to choose to make it personally relevant to you. So I'm going to finish coloring and I'll be right back. Get to work. Okay, I'm back. And I colored in all my images. My paint palettes are all colored in and all my paint brushes. But like I said, I don't want to leave any white areas. So I'm going to color the background in. But I'm going to keep it simple. I'm going to take a crayon, which I know I had here all ready to rumble. Here we go. Come on down. I'll show you what I'm going to do. You can do whatever you want, but see what I'm going to do. I want to fill this white area, so I'm going to take a crayon on its side, and I'm just going to rub to get color onto the background. A crayon rub. 
And over the markers, the markers are still shining through nice and bright. And I took a nice light color to rub over my images to fill my background. Can you see the yellow? It's just a faint color for the background. Okay, so let's go on to stage two. I've created my background, a pattern, something that repeats over and over. Now I'm going to take my portrait and I'm going to cut my portrait out. Oh my God, you're going to cut your portrait out? Yipper, I'm going to cut my portrait out. And you're going to love what I'm going to do. So let's get a scissor and let's cut away. Just the outline of my face. Whoop. Around the ears. Around the hair. Don't worry about being perfect. We're just having fun with this, okay? Notice how my scissor pretty much stays in the same place, but my other hand moves the paper. See? The scissor stays still. All right, so now I have my portrait. Doesn't it look just like me? Hold on. Not really. But that's okay, because we're learning. All right. So now I'm going to take my background and I am going to glue my portrait onto my background just so it fits. My neck goes to the bottom, my head, there's enough room that there's some left space left on top. So I'm going to grab a glue stick, which I had here a second ago. <laughs> I'm losing everything. Here we go. Glue stick. And I'm going to glue the back of my portrait just a little bit on the edges and one little dot in the center. I'm going to turn it upside down and stick it right down in the center of my portrait background. So now we're up to this stage. So what can I do? Let me close my glue. We don't want it to dry out. What can I do to make this look more like a oh, Kahindi Wiley portrait? Hmm. Let's think. What did he do? I remember. Remember he took the background and brought it to the foreground by overlapping Barack Obama? Well, I think we're going to do the same thing. So I'm going to get another piece of paper and I'm going to draw some of these palettes and some of these paintbrushes. So let's go do that. Whatever you chose for your background, you're going to do the same. So let's get another piece of paper. Come on down and see what I do. Okay, I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to draw a couple of these palettes with the little splurts of paint. They don't have to be in, to, in a pattern because I'm going to cut these out because we're going to use them to overlap the face on our background. Maybe one more, as many as you want. It's up to you. And if you want to use any other symbols that you drew to overlap, then draw them as well. Do you see how I'm doing it? I'm not doing it perfect, and that's okay. I'm going to color it the same way because I want them to look similar. I don't want them to look that different. They should look the same. Okay. Oh, I used the wrong color. Here it is. And it won't be too off, too off. Oh, it's about the same color. So what you're going to do now is you pick your symbols that you want to overlap, but it has to be from your background. Color them the same way you did on your background. And then we're going to cut these out and overlap our portrait. And that's going to be more like a Kahindi Wiley portrait. You know, that contemporary guy that contemporary artist we were talking about and learning about. Here's some of my paintbrushes that I drew. Notice Miss S is going very fast. Just because I want to be able to show you what I'm doing. Make a blue paintbrush. Here's the blue spot. Then I'll make a pinkish one. And I'll make two pinks. 
and I think we used a green. Yes, I did. I used green. So we'll make a green paintbrush. And that was next to blue, purple, green. And I'll use my purple. The last one will be purple. Okay, so now we have this. I am going to go and get a marker, a black Sharpie marker. If you have one, that would be great. If you don't, that's quite all right. I want to outline my shapes so they really stand out. Again, you don't have to, but I want to. This way they really pop when they overlay, overlap my portrait. It's running out of ink. Okay, back up. I'm back. So now I'm going to cut these out. I'm going to separate the brushes from the palettes, make it a little bit easier. And I'm just going to cut these out. Remember, my scissor pretty much stays in the same place. And watch how my hand just moves the paper around. Let the hand move the paper while the scissor stays in the same spot. Let's, I like to separate the things that I'm cutting out. Makes it a lot easier. So I don't have all that bulky paper around it to work with. There we go. I'm going around the image. I'm moving the paper, not the scissor. Always makes it easier to cut. Let your hand do the work as you're cutting around. There's another palette. Let's do another one. See, it's easier when we're only working with a small piece of paper and trying to cut, right? Oh, I had to make sure I had the camera back on. I got nervous. <laughs> Okay, this is the last palette I cut out. I made another one of my dog. Now, is that a portrait because it's a dog? Of course it is. Dogs are. Could that be in a portrait? Can you ever see portraits of animals? I'm going to show you when I'm done with this one. I remember, I like to separate the things I'm cutting on the paper because it makes it easier for me to cut around than to have big bulky pieces of paper to cut. Watch your fingers, be careful. There's one paintbrush and I'll continue cutting out the rest. And then we're going to overlap our portrait the same style that Kahindi Wiley did with Barack Obama and his flowers and leaves. We're going to do it with the images that we chose for our background. Again, I chose my paint brushes and my paint palettes because that's personally relevant to me. That's things I like to do, kind of identify who I am. And you want to do the same. Some of you like to do gaming. Maybe you could do remote controls as an idea. Maybe some of you like to sew or cook even. Maybe you could do some salt and pepper shakers or whatever it is that you use when you cook. There's an idea. Make it personally relevant. All about you. It is your portrait. Even if it doesn't look like us. Okay, so here we have my portrait that we learned how to draw in our last lesson. We now created our background with patterns, things that repeat over and over, personally relevant to us, things that we like and enjoy. And now I'm going to overlap my images that I just cut out with my portrait. So come on back down to my desk. And before you glue any of the things down, I'm going to turn it upside down so it's right side up for you, but it's going to be upside down for me, but I'd rather you be able to see what I'm doing. So here's my cutouts. So I'm going to decide how I want to place them. Maybe I'll place them around her neck, maybe up on the top of her head, down over here, 
maybe I'll stick some paint brushes over here or maybe over here you know what I can't really see so I'm gonna have to turn it this way and when I'm done that's when I'll let you see because I want to balance I want to keep it balanced it is a portrait but we want to balance out the images from one side to the other hmm, liking this I like this going into the face want to have some coming out to the side and if you feel that you might want some more images to overlap then draw and cut some more I think I like this so then I'll add some more on this side Yeah, this is starting to like this better. Kind of like continuing the pattern in the same direction that it is in the background. I'm playing, and this is what you do. You you remove you move them, keep moving them until it feels right to you. And I think that this feels right to me right now. So, what do you think? Does that look good? Does that feel right to you? Feels right to me too. So I'm going to glue everything in place right now. Let's see, I'll start with this paintbrush right here. And I'll glue the back of that. And try to glue the whole piece. Notice I'm staying in the same direction that the background is. Because I want to make it seem like it's the same, the continuation of the background. Keep it in the same direction. I like this. I like the way I positioned it. So you do the same with your pieces and parts. Move them around until it feels right to you. Okay, so I gotta do this guy first because he's underneath. So I'm overlapping. That's the key here. We're overlapping. Overlapping our portrait with the new images that we're incorporating. Okay, so glue this one. That looks cool. I like it. I like it. I hope you like this too. I find this very interesting. So this is Wiley, I'm sorry, Kahindi Wiley inspired self portraits that are personally relevant to you. Very cool. I think I got them all. Nope. One more missing. And he can go right there. Nope. Maybe right here. He's falling off. There we go. All right, boys and girls, what do you think? Pretty cool? I think so, too. There you have it. You're an artiste. Kahindi Wiley, contemporary painter, inspired, self-portrait, personally relevant to you. Well, that's it, boys and girls. I hope you enjoyed this lesson as much as I enjoyed making mine. Oh, I told you I was going to share you my dog portrait. I did it in the same style as Kahindi Wiley. I hope you like it. There's my little puppy. I used a photograph, but I took the flowers from my background and I overlapped my puppy on the foreground. And you could do the same thing. Grab a photograph of your choice. I added little circles to my daisies. There you go. All right, guys. Have a great day. Have a great week. Until next time, this is Miss Lisa saying ciao for now from my table of art. Bye-bye.